All right, so I'm gonna be replacing the battery on this Dell Latitude 5540. Okay, so the customer said the battery basically isn't charging. So we'll see, hopefully replacing the battery will solve the issue. This is what it looks like. Good thing I opened the screen because they did not shut it down. All right, anyways, I'm gonna shut this down first. If you bring your computer for someone to work on, like internal hardware, you want to shut it down just in case. Because <laughs> sometimes I'll just go into like um, opening it up right away. So I need to make sure now, like every time I have to just open the computer. So it helps that I open and take the uh, um, a video of the keyboard as part of the thumbnail. That way I know for sure. <laughs> but sometimes someone's like, can you upgrade my RAM? And then I don't think they leave their computer on. So it slips my mind to check that because I always think, okay, they hand it to me off. The only one that usually I'll always see on is MacBooks because people like to just close their screen and let it sleep. But usually Windows computers, people like shut it down. So I don't know. It's pretty rare for them to be still on. Anyways, let's go ahead and open this thing up. So we're going to use a PH1 or JS1 screwdriver to remove all the screws from the bottom. All right, so let's just unscrew these. You want to keep the screws in order. Oh, actually, they stay attached to the cover. If they come out, you do want to keep the screws in order. And the way I do that is I put the flat side of the screw face down on my desk in the pattern I remove them. But it looks like these screws all actually stay in place. Very nice touch. I like that because um, then you don't lose the screws and you don't have to worry about where they go. They're already in the place where they need to be. So pretty cool. So you can see all these screws are actually staying in place. Just undo it until you hear it clicking. I don't know if you can hear that. All right, and that's how you know it's undone. All right, so this side, since there's only two screws, we're probably gonna have to pop it up from here. So I'm gonna, let's see, usually I'll just go in with my fingernail like this and pop it. I don't know if you can see. Okay, so you can see how it's popping up. Obviously you can use pry tools if you don't have fingernails or if your fingernails break easily. Okay, so you can see I just go like that, and you can see how easily it's popping up. And just go along, along the side, just like that. Same thing here, go along the side, and there we go. Okay, and I don't know if the bottom, let's, let's try actually prying it how I normally do. And the way I normally will open the computer is I'll get my fingernails along the groove there, and I'll push on the palm rest. So usually I'll go like this, and I'll pop it like that. Actually, it's easier to pop from this side. Okay, so yeah, and don't push on the um, touchpad because you don't want to push that into the computer. We're just pulling like this to pop the clips and the middle one's going to be a little tricky, but there we go. All right, so now we got all the screws out. Slowly, carefully close that just because there's one less screw on each of these hinges and there's what the inside of this looks like. Okay, it looks like there's something here. I'm not too sure what that is, but there's this copper piece here that connects these two pieces. Maybe it's a case intrusion thing, so it shorts these two things together so it knows that you open the bottom cover. All right. Um, honestly, if uh, manufacturers wanted to build computers very safe, they could basically make that like a battery disconnect, and then it basically... Um, removes power to the board, although the capacitors will still have some power, so it's always best to kind of drain the power. Battery model number here is DR02P. Hopefully the replacement we got is the same because I went based off the laptop model. So we got this. It's an aftermarket. I couldn't get a genuine right away. The customer wanted it like as soon as possible. Also the genuine ones would up the price usually. Um, and depending where, they're sometimes difficult to get. All right, let's go ahead and open this. Okay, and let's see, is this the right? Uh, uh oh, the battery model, is it different? This is weird. Okay, the battery is exactly the same, but the model number here is GRWKG. Let me see, is it the same? Okay, 42 watt hour. Oh, it's a slightly smaller watt hour. I might have to see what the customer wants to do. I mean, they wanted it ASAP, so I don't know. I, I wanted them to bring the laptop so I could check the model number. Um, I'm going to have to see what they want to do. So DR02P, and then this one is GRWKG. 
3,500 milliamp hours, does this say? 46, 23 milliamp hours. So they'll have shorter battery life than the original. Um, I should be able to return this and then get the right one, but I want to see if the voltage and stuff is correct. Uh, charging voltage is 13.35. This one is 13.2 charging voltage. Uh, rated capacity K. Where's the... What does it show like the power output and stuff? I don't know if it says. Battery cells assembled rechargeable. Is that the thing? 13.2. So the voltage is slightly lower. Um, it shouldn't damage the computer because the voltage slowly drops as it discharges. Um, but yeah, since the customer needed it right away, I'll install it. They can use it and then I'll see if I can swap it later because and they needed her right away and also i'm going on a trip so uh yeah are these screws oh the screws are also part of the battery they stay in there and the replacement also has screws built in as you can see they're like stuck to the battery okay uh, why am i unscrewing this before i disconnect this so there's a little tab here that you just pull up to disconnect it okay i don't know if you can see so there's this pull tab here it actually says pull up on it so you grab that and just pull it straight up come on oh, it's so hard to pull up it says pull up <laughs> am i gonna have to pry this like i usually have to on some computers this design is so different than ones i'm used to okay so i'm getting my fingernail underneath the white portion here and most likely i can use that to help separate that yep there you go so there's that and now we should be able to separate the battery and remove it. All right, so we're gonna go under here and lift. So this battery is like exactly the same, you see that? Everything's almost exactly the same, just the, the wattage, or sorry, the capacity is lower. So I'll have to see if the customer wants me to find the other battery, I can swap it for them later. But anyways, you can see how we're unrouting this and undoing the adhesive. You want to make sure that you go pull away from where those tabs are sticking out um, and not pull into it. Okay, I'm assuming this just pulls straight down. Okay, so this battery connector, you're going to grab it and then you kind of wiggle and just pull it straight out. Just like that, okay? And we'll see if the connector looks exactly the same. You see how it has the little plastic thingy in there? Okay. And this pretty much it's almost exactly the same the pins are a little bit more exposed on that little plastic thing but other than that it's pretty much the same okay so this you want to make sure you put it the same way I mean I don't think you can put it backwards because then now the cable's going the wrong way so make sure you put it that way and I don't know if you can really tell okay the way you can see inside here you see those gold pins in the middle they're towards they're facing towards the this side so facing down it says plus and minus but there's no markings on this to tell you what's plus and minus so just line it up and then push it in okay make sure it's connected all the way all right we'll line this up peel up that so it's not sticking in there okay get that in and then we can go ahead and stick this back down just like that Get this in, like that, get this in, that, and then stick that down. All right, so here's the battery. I'll go over a little bit of the components inside, um, just so you can see. Right, there's an M.2, a second M.2 SSD slot here, but it's for a shorter one. I'm not sure exactly the length here, but hopefully you can tell just from looking at it. It's just a little bit, oh, 2230, there you go says right there so the size is 22 which is the width 22 millimeters by 30 millimeters PCIe gen 3 only then you got the other m.2 PCIe NVMe SD here one screw it pops up slightly excuse me you can pull it out you got the touchpad trackpad connector here with the flip latch if you want to remove it I'm gonna leave that alone another flip latch on this side here flip latch for the keyboard connector here keyboard backlight uh, flip latch is the white one here oops I don't want to unlatch it Sorry, but the flip latch is the white one here, and the keyboard one, the flip latch is this side, okay? So make sure you don't mix it up, because if you try and pry this up, you're going to break those connectors off. 
You also have this little connector here, which connects to the motherboard. It says there's an RFID on some models here. I'm not sure where this is going. Oh, this card reader. So it's for this little card reader. I think my customer is back. Speaker connectors right there, connects that speaker. And then there's a wire that runs along from that speaker to the other one. Okay, fan here. This is an interesting, very long heat sink to the CPU here. I'm assuming on some models, there's probably a GPU in between here. Um, all right, two slots for RAM, but there's only one stick. To get the RAM, pull the two tabs to the side, comes up like this. And this is a PC4 3200 AA. This tells you DDR4 RAM. Okay, 16 gigs. So they can upgrade with another 16 gigs of RAM if they wanted. They can add another small SSD. There's another slot here, which I don't think this is for an SSD. Usually it's for like a network card, for like um, using a SIM card for a mobile network. Okay, I'm assuming micro SD card slot. All these seem soldered to the board. Um, this looks like for a fingerprint reader or something. Power button, I'm assuming. What's that? I don't know. But this, you probably have to take, you have to take this little metal bracket out with that screw, and then it looks like you can pop it up. Wireless card here, one screw. This metal uh, plate comes off, and then the antennas, you go from the tail, you pull it up, and it should disconnect from here. But the wireless card will come out just like the SSD. It'll uh, come up at an angle slightly with this, and then you just pull it out. All right, and LCD LVDS connector, two screws here. Um, I can't exactly tell what type of connector that is, but I think it's a pull up one. Again, I'm not going to mess with that because the customer just wanted to replace their battery. There's a separate uh, CMOS BIOS RTC real-time clock battery here. It's a CR2032, but it's in this little casing. Take note that the black wire is going towards the middle of the laptop and the red wire is going towards the outside of the laptop. It looks like it's the other way, but that's because it's twisted over. So make sure you put that right. If you get a replacement, make sure those wires aren't switched around. If they are, you have to actually physically remove those wires from the little connector and then put them back in. All right, um, not really much else to show here. We're gonna go ahead and put the battery back in, the replacement one. And then I guess the customer will have to test it. Hopefully they brought their charger. I don't know if this, or is it USB-C charged? Oh, it's USB-C. So I'll just plug in a USB-C charger and see. My guess, I'm wondering if sometimes their battery's fine and then they just use an aftermarket like a uh, phone charger or a very low powered charger and then that's why it doesn't charge, I don't know. But I think I asked them that, I don't, I don't know. Um, maybe not because usually I assume laptops, they have the actual charger, but some people are like, I don't want to carry the big charger around. <laughs> I'm like, it's designed for that charger. You can't just switch the chargers just because you don't like it. I had someone that bought like a gaming laptop and then they tried to use like some little dinky charger because they were like, I don't want to carry that big brick. And I'm like, you have to, if you want the <laughs> graphics and CPU and everything to run at its actual capabilities. Anyways. Battery connector, line this up. Okay, make sure everything lines up right. Let's see here, how does this go? We have to pull it down a little bit. So make sure the top of this connector lines up with the, you see that edge of the black portion? I don't know if I can show this here. Okay, so I have to actually pull this down towards the thing, line that up, and then push it down, right? kind of not wanting to line up there we go okay oops sorry say not in view so there you go you can see how it lines up there completely all right now let's get the bottom cover back on and then plug it in and power it up um i have an apple charger i'm gonna plug in and see it should work because usually usb-c is pretty universal but it's not always 100 percent. sometimes companies like to put some weird voltage or something that most devices don't use but uh usually Dell's gonna be a very standard like 19 volt or something all right actually let me pop this back up okay I'm gonna push this side first we're gonna go at an angle again right is that how the clips yep actually it shouldn't matter it looks like we should be able to just push it down anyways no matter what all right no okay push that yeah these are these clips are a little weird so I'm gonna See if going at an angle helps. Okay, it looks like it's in. We'll go ahead and get these screws first. 
it not lining up? What is happening here? Hey, what? That should line up. These are the... <laughs> what is happening here? It shouldn't need to be... Yeah, I can... You can just push it from wherever. So we'll clip in everything. Sorry, I was a little bit being a little weird. There we go. And then now we just get all these screws in. Since it has that little metal thing on the bottom cover, I want to screw everything in just in case that that needs to make proper contact before it will power up right. So we'll do that. And then usually we'll boot in with F2 or delete um, to get to the BIOS. And hopefully we can see the battery if it's charging or not. But yeah, I'm going to have to see what the customer wants to do about the battery because it's a little bit lower watt hours than the original. Okay, double check that all the things are clicked in. Looks good. We'll flip this over. Okay, and let's go ahead and plug this in now. Alright, so we got the plug on this side. It's going to show a light here. There, the light's on. Well, it turned on. Oh, there we go. Okay. So now it's solid. So first thing what it does is it checks like the voltage and wattage and stuff. All right, we're going to press F2 or delete. And let's see if we go to the BIOS, if this model shows. Okay, it's going, preparing to enter BIOS. Here we go. Processor battery. Okay, 85 watt adapter. That's correct. Standard battery level, 55%. And it's charging. So I'll leave it plugged in a little to see if the battery level goes up. I'm assuming it will, but uh, that's pretty much it. It says battery life type is standard, and yeah. All right, that's pretty much it. Hopefully this video helped you guys out. If it did, please make sure to like, comment, subscribe, share my channel with others so that they can learn how to upgrade and repair their devices as well. And if it helped you save a bunch of money, please consider contributing a little to the channel. Every little bit helps and allows me to continue making these videos for a living. All right, if you can't help out that way, it would help a lot if you could watch a few of my other videos and then like and comment on those, on those as well. Battery percent did go up to 56% now. All right. Um, also, I have another channel called It's Been Reviewed and More. Um, if you could subscribe to that channel, it will really help me out. I'm trying to get that one to 1,000 subscribers and it's kind of a slow, long, slow process. So yeah, um, I'm trying to split off my review videos from the repair and stuff, uh, repair videos, but because if I just throw them all on, all on that channel, I'm going to pretty much make no revenue on those videos. So I'm splitting them in between. I don't know if I stopped splitting them in between or if I stopped putting them on this channel, if more people will end up watching the other channel or more people will find the other channel. I don't know. Uh, the algorithm's weird. So anyways, yep, that's pretty much it. I kind of want to see if it's going to go up one more percent. I mean, you don't need to see that. It went up one more percent, but I'm going to wait until it goes up one more percent to see, and then I'll let the customer know. Um, again, that's it. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you all in the next one. All right, let's drop this. Bye.